<laughs> yes, I Thank do. You. <laughs> All right, it's on now, so you can go ahead. Okay, so I'd like to call the meeting to order. It's two o'clock, and I would think that we got together for the as a, a meeting at first time in what to almost two years, eh? It's unbelievable, but thank you for this opportunity, Haley. This is uh, this is super. Makes it really nice for us. Okay, so I'd like to um, go over the agenda. Is there any additions or corrections to the agenda? You think it's all covered? All right. So we have someone move to accept the agenda as distributed. Muriel and Catherine is second. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, is there any declaration of pecuniary interest from anyone? No. Okay, so there's no, no uh, pecuniary interest declared by any of the members present. Okay. And then the minutes from the last meeting, they went out uh, with the agenda. Did anyone see anything in there that might not be correct or needed to add to? was mostly about the planning for the fair, right? <coughs> Any comments on that? Arlene, no. Muriel, no. All right. So would like someone like to move the accept the minutes of the uh, the June 9th meeting? I'll move it if you want. Arlene and uh, Mary, do you want a second? Mary will second. Okay. <coughs> okay. That's good. Oh, what have we got here? All right. <clears throat> so we resolve that the committee approve the minutes from the June 9th meeting, 2022, as presented. Okay, staff updates. Seniors Health Fair grant funding reporting timeline. So OACAO is due 30 days after the fair, which means brings us to October 21st. And uh, it looks like all the bills will be in by then uh, <clears throat> because Haley picked up the one from uh, Bayshore Broadcasting. Sometimes they only bill the following month and you never know. You get this surprise bill two months later, mm. you know. But it came today. So we really should have all the bills in hand. So she'll be able to work from that. <clears throat> and... Um, we uh, we also I think I mentioned earlier we sold uh, nine hundred dollars in booth space so that's eighteen for profit vendors so that really helps adds to our bottom line <clears throat> so uh, I think we've uh, met all of the goals and surpassed them of any of the <laughs> requirements from the the granting uh, bodies and so. It, really just matter putting good language to the answers because we've really met all of the uh, requirements there. And the, re the requirement from Fa Community Foundation Gray Bruce, their response is required in January 2023. So <clears throat> we, uh, we kind of need to do them both together because of the expenses. Mm -hmm. When we did the budget, we had planned so much and we may need to divide it between the two, but it's not going to be an issue. We'll work that out. So I don't see any problem at all with uh, responding to those uh, grant uh, reports. Anyone have anything to add to that? Just wondering, do they ask for similar feedback? No, it's is quite that, different. Is it? Oh, yeah, it's bad. quite different. <laughs> OACAO are pretty organized, and they have a checklist, and... Uh, Holly sent a note. Did you, did you did you copy it here? No, but they want statistics, and I gave that to her. We got a bundle, and we'll source out what people said in terms of feedback. They want to know how many government agencies, how many non for profit, mm -hmm. how many for profit. They want to know ages, what age group. Well, forty one percent. I think I put it there. We're between sixty five and seventy four. And then 44% were between 75 and 84. Okay. And we had, well, these are the responders, don't forget. Okay. So, you know, and they were mostly women. 90% were women that responded. 
and uh, the, there were a couple of over 85, and there was one that responded who was less than eight, less than 55. So mm -hmm. mostly that was the age. So those are the kind of thing. Then they wanted to know if uh, if you were Indigenous or LGBT or here it is here or mm -hmm. Northern Ontario or rural seniors. And the majority of our seniors responded as rural. Mm -hmm. So they're going to be happy about that. Yeah. <laughs> And, uh, but Foundation Grey Bruce, they ask questions like, and it requires a little more thought, how do, describe how your project was carried out and how you achieved the goals. Oh. <laughs> yeah, did your, if your project did not foresee the full amount, how did you uh, raise the funds to, you know, put the fare on? Who benefited from the project in Grey Bruce? And, is the project ongoing? And um, was were Community Foundation Grey Bruce acknowledged? And and then the project expenses, and they want pictures. So it's not really hard. It just requires a little bit of thought, you know. And it'll be good in our report today to to, day, to, to as as we answer that we partnered with Southeast Grey Community Health Center. We partnered with one of the seniors group. We parted with employees of the township, you know, the fire department, we were a whole team, and, and I'll, I'll make sure that's in there, so I think that looks good, because it took every one of us to put this on, isn't it? Okay, any questions regarding to the grant funding reporting? We're good? Okay, so... And 6.2, I gather, Holly, you guys put that one in, eh? Yeah. 2022 to 2026 advisory committee appointments. So what is it you're wanting to know? Perfect. So just through you, um, with the election coming up, the term of this committee will be done on November 15th. November um, 15th, okay. So we will be posting to our website shortly. Um the applications for appointments and we encourage everybody to um, reapply if they are interested um, and we just I wanted to thank everybody for bearing with me um, this year since I was kind of new um, and also for your commitment over the past four years you've done some great stuff so we just wanted to extend our thank you okay so um, November ahead. 15th is actually I like I thought this was our last meeting. Yeah, so this is our last okay. meeting. That'll just be when your term expires. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Presumably a new well, new members once they're up, uh they've applied and appointed will yes. be uh we'll um, start again in January. Yeah, so the appointments will begin at the first council meeting in December, which I believe is the seventh. Um I'd have to look back and then um after that, it would be a January start. So then they'll approve the council committee calendar and it'll go forward that way. Okay. Any other questions? So it's the 7th of me? November is your first meeting? December 7th should be oh. the first one. I believe that's when um, the appointments will take place. Right. <clears throat> I know uh, Terry was so excited. Oh, she said, good, we'll save this stuff for the next fair next year. And I said, well, I, I don't think so. I think, I think we're going to pass the Catlett to Grey Highlands. They've been wanting to do one anyway. Yeah, I know. I asked Elvin, though, on Tuesday when I saw him. And yeah. He said, oh, I don't know. No. It was, like, really not confirming. <laughs> anyway, so I don't know. He, he saw how speak. much work it was. <laughs> well, well, he knows. He, he's, yeah, he knows, he knows from the past because oh. he really helped with oh, the last okay. one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But would that be too close together to have it next year? Is that what you're talking about now? I don't know. I well, mean, if it's in Grey Highlands out at Osprey, that's, that's where we had looked yeah, at. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. a different group of mm -hmm. people, pretty much. <clears throat> yeah. But we got more support percentage-wise here in Holstein. This, Holstein's an amazing community. Everybody came out. I had expected the same in Dundalk, and we really didn't get the numbers I had hoped. But the exhibitors were all happy, so that's what counts, you know. Mm -hmm. We're going to write a letter, <laughs> Muriel and I, to the presenters and yeah. and say we could have done better. 
you know. But, uh, but what well, happened there that it wasn't better? It, I, I do want discussion on that, yeah. Okay, but so it's I coming up in the next. Okay. Yeah, yeah, there'll be discussion, yeah. <clears throat> Okay, so you're good, Holly? Yep, that's all I had. Um, oh. And I, I, sorry, I do have no. one more thing. I will send out an email once um, everything is on our website if you're interested in reapplying. Um, and if you need a hand with anything, let me know, and I can get you paper copies, or you can meet me in the office, and we'll, we'll sort everything out that way. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so. Oh, I just. Yeah, yes, go ahead, Mary. Yeah. No, it's okay. It's coming. It's all right. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. Okay, good. So, seniors health fair discussion. Oh, I see. That's the next one. Okay, so we've we've been talking a little bit about it. Uh, yeah, Mur Muriel and I are are pretty disappointed uh, about the attendance at the at the presentations upstairs. And and I'm thinking now we, I should have thought that through a little better about the challenges of getting people up and announcing it more and better signs and you know we, we thought of it the last minute. Was there an announcement downstairs at all when they were doing these? Yes. Now and then we so tried. I but like, I know I think that was a huge issue. People could and I not couldn't hear. even hear yeah. the music half the time. And we yeah. probably needed a big sandwich board or big presentation board and bold, you know, presentations at what a certain time. And I know people had that little when brochure. In, Some of them tell. used it. You did, eh? Each person that came in, we told them that the exhibitors were yeah. on the main floor and that there was presentations okay. upstairs. Okay. So okay. Every Every single person who walked through yeah, the that's, door, that's we didn't good. say that's that. That's great, because mm. I was wondering about that. Every but single I know one. they had the paper. We but showed them, and then we explained okay. it. I, yeah. So I think a, guy, a couple of people have said to me they think it was because it was upstairs, and people just did not want to go just upstairs. It's the yes. yeah. Yeah, yeah, even though it's the elevator. I had yeah. one that was claustrophobic. Yes, <laughs> I, I, I am so you can go in the elevator. I did take that lift the once, and I thought, Oh, I'm not doing this again because yeah. <laughs> I am possible. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. I, do, I think because it was separated, once they got on the main floor, they forgot. And coming in the door, we were telling them a lot of things. We had yeah. two wonderful sponsors, yeah. Blah, yeah. but we did tell every, okay, everyone. Okay, so then, we did make an effort. Some, what can you do? You can't predict did everything. Enough, but I, but I think if there's any other feedback back like this, like it's we need to pass it on. That's one thing for another group to... Yeah. To, well, to you know plan. when, but yeah. also I, to, to uh -huh. let the presenters know, you know, we just yeah, we're gonna we're gonna send them a letter, yeah, Mario and, and I, and, and, explain, and try express. and say what we're recommending for another time or something. Yeah. yeah. Well, when but the United I, Way ran the fair, and they did it several years, a eh? five years in a row in Owen Sound, they were in a hotel. So right on that main area, there's conference rooms and, and meeting rooms right on the yeah, same level. Altogether. And you could put a big sign on the door. I think that's and, what happened. Once you know, happens, so it was easy. It. Oh, we could have done that with the, by the stairs. Although well, we had we the did, stair issue. We did try. Yeah, we, we came they to that issue just a little yeah. late in the process. I, but, I don't think we could hear. I mean, I have good hearing. No, no, but and I could not hear. We needed a better PA system downstairs, but even if it had been announced downstairs that, you know, this one was starting in 15 minutes or whatever. It was. Yeah, and then I think, like, Terry did some of the announcing. I Maybe Barbara, anything. I'm not sure. Barbara about that. did a bit, yeah. But, yeah, and you did some. Uh, so, like, people were trying to do the announcing of yeah, the sessions and what they were. Yeah, there's a lot of I activity. Think in the arena? There's a lot of activity yes. going on. Yeah, yeah I think you're in the air. Yeah. yeah. And obviously, the I think it was the three ladies from Holstein, they didn't hear it either. And they might have better hearing because you're younger than us. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah. So anyway, so we did make an effort. We did try. Uh, mm -hmm. You can't combat the, the logistics of mm -hmm. it. But I mean, basically, the number of exhibitors we had and the range and quality, I think, mm -hmm. were amazing. Mm -hmm. and yeah, I think everybody was happy Wonderful that. feedback, and the exhibitors felt that they got a lot of interest. A lot of people came by. I mean, there were over 250, weren't there? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure. That's the number I'm using, but yeah. do you think Probably it's more? Probably more. I think more. You think it's more? Because they handed them out, but still you have some other people going in with people. That's my take on it? No. Anybody that walked through that door, we counted. Yeah. Anybody that walked through that door, not yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So, I mean, so, I mean that's a sad... Actually, I couldn't have done it myself. 
I'm glad I got a volunteer. Fair enough. Yeah. Honestly, okay. So that's good that to know. That gave us the extra time to talk, and we did tell each person, mm -hmm. both the sponsors and. Well, there but it's a lot to absorb when you're walking in. Well, it is. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. maybe that's why having it again in two years, the community will be more aware of how it works and what it's about, and maybe there will be more next time. Yeah. That could be possible. Do you yeah, think? I don't think we could have put anything more in that lobby. And then oh, no. Not, no. No. Mm -hmm. And they were, like, say, verbally told. It, I mean, I was just, I mean, I know nobody went upstairs. I was there all day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was not a lot. What about having them downstairs in the yeah. locker rooms? Or yeah. They call they're not things? very nice. Yeah, they're, they're not, not very nice so. at the same time. <laughs> I'll pass. But, yeah, I don't see how we could have them in there. No? No. Yeah. There's really not enough. And, you know, maybe we could have bought some, some poles, you know, some of the professional, you know, trade shows, they've got curtains right around each booth, you know, but you've got to rent those poles yeah, and the curtains, it's expensive. but it wouldn't block out the so so uh, noise. So say you had mm -hmm. a part of the room, that's what, um, mm -hmm. uh, what's her name, the, lady, the, the young, Jennifer? Jennifer, yeah. Yeah, she said maybe you could have cordoned off some areas downstairs mm -hmm. and have the presentations in there. Yes. But then what about the sound? I don't know. I yeah. Maybe. I maybe with a speaker in a I corner. I see that working downstairs. Cause I know. To me there was a lot of... Like background noise just from mm -hmm. yeah. Different I mean, we could have con condensed the space to make more room, but because we had all that space, I mean, I opened yeah. it up, you know. But so there's options, and maybe those are things to think about. We didn't really talk about the sound system not being effective, did we? We just assumed it was going to be Holly, yeah. <laughs> I knew. or adequate, or you knew, eh? I knew it was difficult. Yeah, or we could just separate <laughs> the talks. And have them not necessarily at the fair and just present a talk. Yeah. Well, anyway, there's things to think about, what you know, you if you were time? to do it again. Again, yeah. another time, just no. invite people no. to come in for certain yeah. things like you do on a... I don't think but the I space... Think this was sort of part and parcel. Yeah, I know. It's nice there. together and yeah. it's all happening, yeah. but... But the space upstairs was nice. It was yes. well done. Mm -hmm. It uh, yeah. worked mm -hmm. really well. Even the lounge area was super, that, mm -hmm. the way it was set up and mm -hmm. everything. Like to thank Terry uh, Murphy for for helping us with mm -hmm. that. She, they, she really did. Yeah, yeah. yeah she I think did. it was the ability to get up the stairs. Yeah, like that, that's what I personally that's think. It. Well, and I knew I'm it was thinking up. if Grey Highlands has theirs and has it at Osprey, they've got a definite advantage because everything's on the one the floor. floor. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 But we did what we what could we with what, what we had. had. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, I still think sure. it went well, even though. Oh, I think the so for the, the most door part. Was fabulous. Oh, that's good. Likewise, people were leaving. Oh, yeah, well, most people made exactly. a point to stop and tell us how oh, well they thought that's it was nice running. How good that it was. is good to hear. Yeah. There's only one lady was upset about our survey. She didn't like the one questionnaire. I apologized to her three times and said, "Don't fill it out." She well, didn't like where you, well, you know what you identify by. Oh, oh. I don't think the she understood question, the question, yeah. but I'm not sure. But that was out of our hands. That's what I said to her. Don't you know, if you know yeah. if you don't either you know, don't miss that question or just don't fill out the survey. That was a good I'm answer, sorry. Mary. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a good <clears throat> okay. But that's the only negative thing we had at the door. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Ellie, was there any other um, feedback in the forms that people filled in? Um, Holly has them right here. Oh, okay. <clears throat> oh you put them away already. <laughs> She's organized. <clears throat> no, it's mostly the sound system. And then yeah. one did mention that we announced lunch. I should have said lunch is being served from 11.30 to 1.30 in the next two hours. And don't forget we have presentations starting in five minutes upstairs. That might have helped. You know, but I didn't type. So yeah, pass them to me or I'll let her see. So we had 65 responses, and uh, from the participants and 20 from the exhibitors. So not so many. Oh, wow. And the Survey Monkey, um, they got back to me, and only one person. It was Dave Bradley <laughs> that had responded to the Survey Monkey. You know, the electronic thing at the bottom. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. I had the girl add it there so that if people mm -hmm. wanted to do it at home, Happy. but she only got the one, and he answered back to me and said, I responded on the survey, okay. Monkey, and that's what I got back from her. Yeah. <clears throat> so, 
it uh, <clears throat> was all pretty positive, yeah. Any other comments about the fair? Good job, ladies. You worked really hard to pull this together. <laughs> Dan knows from the last time, and uh, we were very happy to have the help of uh, well, Dave Milner, of course, who got us started, and uh, Kevin Green, who just Kevin's just was amazing. <laughs> you know, he really really made it happen because and he actually of, got those ba extra baffles up. Yes, he did. did. He right. must have worked all weekend. Yeah. Oh, they must have. Because they weren't up when we were there. On the uh, yeah, they were no, just weekend, putting them. They were making them. There. They were he, yeah, they were fixing them. And we were there Monday. That's mm -hmm. when I was there last week mm -hmm. for the fair on right. Wednesday. Yeah, it wasn't right. the weekend. Um, yeah. And they, Terry they Murphy up. getting all that sponsorship oh, yeah. stuff yeah. and uh, and helping to set yeah. up. She was she was one and, and the prizes. So we would uh, we'd like to mention that uh, we couldn't have done it without team effort that we had. I'm sorry? The firemen outside were yeah. there. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, they were. Yeah. They were our official greeters, I think. <coughs> yeah. People, yeah. <laughs> People went over to talk to them then. <laughs> so I would say we we ended our term with a, a good high and a good success and good visibility for the township. Do you think, Holly? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I heard yeah. good things about it. So. Did you? Yes. <clears throat> So tell us more. <laughs> <laughs> I just heard uh, from a lot of people that it was a good success, and they really, I, the people that were there as participants, I heard that they really enjoyed the vendors. So that's a good okay. Kind of positive. Okay. Okay. <laughs> they, these are really, really positive. Very, very, I'd say. Aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, I, you know, maybe like they're. It's for the fair in general, though. It's. I'm just thinking that it might be good to. There's two of them. There's two sets there. There's mm -hmm. one for the presenters, and the other set is right. the exhibitors. You want right. to look at those? Yeah. And I, but it, they, the uh, participants didn't get, like, there's no particular feedback on sessions, which might help promote that there are sessions. <laughs> but I, I'm yeah. just wondering whether we got, like, did this, did these speakers actually, did very many of them fill in? I know you said, mentioned the one. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, we can't tell be whether they're a speaker or a Yeah, an I didn't exhibitor. design the phone. Maybe they asked that we not change it. So I just use that one. Mm -hmm. We could have maybe had our own form. No, but people that makes won't fill too in much. Multiple, but that was backwards. for the exhibitor. So look at that. The only one that said they wouldn't come back was the credit union lady. She wasn't sure it was her place to be there. Oh, know? is that right? Yeah, but because that's she about senior all. Senior specific. Yeah. yeah. Oh, maybe they should think about senior services, though. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, but it sort of makes sense. That she maybe didn't get enough people going by and sort of being interested in it. They probably already know her. Maybe. Well, this is it. And, and the idea was is to include people in the community. So, and I had already approached the IBC because of the tote bags. Oh. I mean, I could have got them from Southgate because they had some, the waste people. Mm -hmm. You know, what were they called? Public Works? Mm -hmm. They had tote bags. Oh. We could have got them free. They were yellow. And then VON had wonderful tote bags. But the best ones were Flato, one. have to one. say. I got one. <laughs> yeah, they were. Yeah. So we, we had lots of tote ones? bags. What did we do with them? Do we give them back? Uh, yes, mostly, okay. mostly yeah. we no, got the them back. The VON ones didn't go back. She didn't, the lady didn't want them back. Okay. So, so that's why they came to the lunch last week. Perfect. So everybody that came to the... Uh, Cowtown lunch oh. had one on their chair, and I still think there's some left. And Brenda said that so they do sort of um, what's the word I want at Christmas time, like and give things to family. So she thought she could use them then. I said, go right ahead. I don't want them. <laughs> Perfect. Right. Right. So right. I think they'll all be used. Yeah. 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 So oh, good. If okay. I took those back and see how see those went back to them. Yeah, they yeah, did. Because yeah. we sort them at the door. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this lady from the VON in Northtown yeah. didn't want them back. They could use them for someone else. It wasn't else, for so. her. We didn't have much there. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. Well, we had the big banner, but she had the rest of stuff. Yeah, that was early on. <clears throat> did you want to see? Yeah. Thank you, Holly. Yeah. Okay. Let's ask if we have any other ideas of how to, uh, um, what information or ideas or whatever to give to, to the speakers. Because if I were them, I would really be upset. I am upset still. What but, do you um, mean? Yeah, well, it was such a professional group of speakers. Like no, no, we can't do that. Okay. 
but no. but um, no, just in terms of you know expressing our thanks for sure, we need to do that because they they you know except for one who was sick, they were all there. Yeah, <laughs> that yes, yes. committed themselves, but um, to let them know. I think we can let them know the ideas we've got about another time that, that right. we realize were issues for us this time, perhaps. But um, is there anything else we can say or do that, um, to express our appreciation of their time and expertise? Yeah. And, um, oh, I think all you can do is say, like, you know, we really appreciate you coming, and we feel we fell short on getting people upstairs, but we tried. Yeah. But the announcements, yeah. they yeah. just weren't being heard. Yeah. yeah. We have to be okay. careful to, to make excuses, you know, like yeah. we, we need, need a, yeah, we take responsibility we're, for yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. announcements were clear. Because, clear, because we want we, them to think positively about Southgate Township, not just our seniors' mm -hmm. health fair. Oh, yeah, for sure. Because the one lady said she'd never come again, right? Or Really? Well, that was just the oh yeah one of the you, you speakers yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 she and wouldn't they, do well, it that's again. That's not okay, you know, to have them. It's not no. You know, leave with that but kind did of she impression. Say why? Yeah, yeah because nobody came to her session because I announced lunch. Uh oh, and she said everybody went to lunch and no one went upstairs. That's not true because the people from from uh, Holstein picked up their sandwiches and went upstairs. Okay. But all the same, you know. Mm -hmm. I honestly believe we did our very best, and sometimes you can do your best, and it didn't work out. Mm -hmm. Well, we learned from it, too. So. Yes. Yeah. And I wanted to mention, too, about the lunch. We keep forgetting the lunch, the uh, the Dundalk Dance Association. The sandwiches were wonderful. Mm -hmm. Everybody loved them. Yep. You know. mm -hmm. yeah. Again, going out, they were all commenting on what a beautiful lunch. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And Doris Nurcomb organized that. She's the one that talked to Mary Fowler. Mm -hmm. And of course, we had the free cupcakes and mm -hmm. <laughs> an ice yes. cream, which was funny. Yeah. Mary, uh, do you get the Dundalk paper or anybody else? Because there was, there were pictures and Mary Fowler Dundalk. put that in, eh? Did she? Okay, she, I didn't realize that. She but, put the article. So you've in. seen it then? I have. Yes. Okay. Anybody Did you see it? Show it to I them. Maybe. I, 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 I just saw. Yeah. 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 Okay. Good. And there was some posted it was and too, sent some out. Too big. Yeah, and it was too big to copy. I tried to copy it for you, Holly, but. What's the date on that paper? Sorry, mm -hmm. September twenty eighth. Okay, yeah. I think we probably have one, so I can submit it with the reporting. Oh, okay. good. Yeah. yeah. Did you see? Pass yeah, it on. Yeah. 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 So that was really good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other comments about the fair? We're good. Okay. Mm -hmm. say thank you, Ellie. Oh, huge, you're welcome. Thanks to you because you must have spent your whole life <laughs> organizing that fair. I did, and oh, and when I took time to to just focus on it, um, the ideas came. But you know, it's slow. <laughs> I'm getting older. Well, yeah, you do this thing, and then something else comes up that you need to yeah, plan. Yeah, but uh, yeah. that's all right. I commit. I knew. I knew going into it that it would be a big job. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we had the support of the township, the facility and mm -hmm. everything, mm -hmm. you know. It, it was okay, yeah. So I'm happy with the result. And we got a beautiful plaque to share. There you go. <laughs> <coughs> All right, so shall we go on to 7.2? Accomplishments for the 2-18-2022. Uh, <coughs> oh, yeah, here you go again. Yeah, so we uh, we we ran a, a really nice workshop early on, didn't we? And I I had a poster of it somewhere. Uh, remember when we had uh, Sandra Hong from the Alzheimer's yep. come, mm -hmm. and uh, Pam McDermott from the uh, mm -hmm. yeah uh, the elder abuse, mm -hmm. and then she was. Uh, then we tried to get, there it is here, Responsibility and Awareness workshop that we did in 2019, October. And then we tried to get the Sheater group to come, right, mm -hmm. in March, and that didn't work because they kept well, they trying to, to find a date and then it all fell apart. Well, COVID so. started. COVID, then, yeah. Yeah. COVID, so couldn't yeah. continue that. That's project. it. So yeah. what could you do? Yeah. Yeah. I still actually, I had... Like in a briefcase, and I, because I didn't open the briefcase until we went back, 
And then there it is. We'd already organized like a group to come from Holstein to that uh, oh. Sheila group. So yeah. Yeah. Okay, you had, oh yeah, here it is here. Yeah, March 17th, 2020. Yep. And it never happened. Yeah, I had that poster. But I thought I watched the play. So I was introduced. And I think they did a better job than when we had gone to see it up in Meaford or whatever. I thought they were more animated and they were into it and I understood the premise better and I really liked it. And we had about 30 people, but we made a real big effort to... Uh, yeah, I thought it would be packed. Yeah, I know. That, and it, but, yeah. So people... So, was at the end so the just day, one other comment time. was that people thought they started packing up around 2, 2.30. Oh, so sorry. maybe 3.30 is too long a day. Maybe we need to shorten it to 3. <laughs> so that was backtrack a bit. If we have had 400 people, it would have been different, though. Yeah. Like, we, that's the whole thing. We didn't we had, have this larger group as we thought. Yeah, we, yeah, that's right. It's true. Yeah, yeah. I, we could have handled another 150 easily. Oh, yeah, you know, yeah. we had the food mm -hmm. and everything. It would have worked, yeah. And just as a comment, I'm on going back to the fair. Southeast Gray Community Health Center took all the leftover sandwiches and mix and everything. And Jeff Van Geem went in there and he says, Oh, I know lots of people I can give that oh, to. Good. So it was all and looked good. after and there was nothing wasted. So that's good. Okay, back to our accomplishments. Uh, <clears throat> anybody have anything else? It was it was just really hard because of COVID, so that we couldn't meet. Yeah. So they want to know recommendations to council. So, Mira, could you elaborate on full committee membership and committee members? Uh. Okay. Um, what? Well, okay. Like this has been an incredibly difficult two and a half years, basically, yes, with COVID yeah. and everything. Yeah. But there were some things that I was thinking um, might be helpful because we can't. You know, hopefully, this never happens again. Mm -hmm. But oh, it I might. Know. It might. Well, hopefully this, it ends. I don't feel that it's ending. Yeah. No, it hasn't. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Please, You're right. Yeah. Yeah. But whether it's a pandemic or something else, yeah. I, I don't know. But I just, I was thinking that um, uh, like seven people on a committee is really not that much. So we needed every single body, but we didn't have every single body at every meeting. No. Uh, we really had some attendance issues due to illness. Not, not that we can help that, and that's mm -hmm. you know that's just part of life and yeah, and our volunteer yeah. work then too. Yeah. But I was thinking um, uh, that maybe um, we could somehow say, like I know that there is a policy with the, with committees, but it didn't get enforced, and I understand why it didn't, and I don't know if I wanted it to be, but. But um, and the policy has to do with meeting so many, missing so many meetings, and then we need to find a new member. Mm -hmm. um, but this past year was really, really difficult, not having enough people to do the work. You know, it was very difficult with planning and then with the doing. So I, I'm, what I'm saying is I think we need to have that policy enforced. Mm -hmm. uh, not, not a nice word, but somehow I, um, be able to fill... A spot with somebody who's able to pick up to and help. Yeah, yeah. To do yeah. yeah, not to get rid of people. Like I had welcomed them back if they were able mm -hmm. to come. But like Barb hasn't been able to come for two yeah. years. Yeah, mm -hmm. and she More she than loves years. the fair and really mm -hmm. wanted to participate, yep. but health issues yeah. prevented her. Yeah. And and she, I know she she talked about that she should resign, and she she you know and maybe she should have, so that we could have mm -hmm. actively worked on getting a new member. But um, she was she was committed. I know she was committed. Yeah. And she had been a, um, a member for a long time and really a yeah. health fair promoter and all the rest of it and yeah. for the past yeah. one. Yeah. So we didn't want to lose her. At the same time, we needed somebody to do work. Yeah. So I'm not sure if there are any other suggestions around that except that keep to the policy or something. Um, but there's that. And then... Um, um, uh, the other thing I was thinking, um, I was checking with Elvin Martin, who is on the Gray Highlands um, uh, Seniors Advisor Committee, and just asking um, who makes up their group. But they have a counselor represented 
or representing council all the time, and I was thinking that yeah. would be really helpful. It would. Like we, it's not that we didn't have counselor and council support. I think we did, and especially yeah. when it came down to the but, health but fair. No but one had authority or ability to to speak for us. You know, yeah. Because Barbara felt that not being on the committee but being counselor, she yeah. couldn't interfere or say mm -hmm. anything. Yeah. She she participated in as a matter of interest, mm -hmm. but she really had no effective role. So right. we need someone with an effective role. I think so because it really hit me when I was you know once again looking over the brochure you did for us, and um, one of the main things is giving feedback to to um, the council on. Right. Yeah, but if Township you get a council things. member assigned to the committee, doesn't that change the status of the committee? No. Because the, usually the housing you, is it statutory advisory committee has two council members, two councillors on it. On what? The housing advisory committee has two councillors on it. Plus the mayor's been coming, plus the CAO, plus others. Well, on I'm occasion. not sure how the meeting is. Yeah, so uh, if I maybe could um, yes. kind of elaborate, yes. the, it's an advisory committee, so you could appoint members of council if you oh, wish. Okay. Um, there's a bit of a process to that, so it would be updating the terms of reference. Mm -hmm. um, and if that's what comes out of this discussion, we can certainly make a resolution um, to suggest that that happens. Um, and then staff will work on the terms of reference and submit, like, um, present it to council for approval if that's what the committee mm. so decides. I, it doesn't necessarily change the status, it would just be more of a... Because we yeah. felt okay. very very much isolated, very much alone mm -hmm. to do all this planning without, you know, that kind of support mm -hmm. that could say yay or nay, you know? Mm -hmm. And especially just sent spending any money, you know? Yeah. But I just went ahead and did it, but, you yeah. know. The library board's a little bit different. That's what I mean. It's, a, it's, yes, it's, a board, it's not an but, advisory committee. Yeah, but it's... But it, some of the things there is are similar, but one of the things we get there has been um, um, updates from the council, and now we're getting them. You know, it's usually you know we, we 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 go and look for it, and although it's in the agenda to click on and mm -hmm. get it, and um, we so we get information about what's happening in the township and what council mm -hmm. is working on, uh, which I find helpful because then you know, oh, really. Well, I need to you know, um, right. say something about that or keep keep an eye on it because you're interested, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I'm thinking that would be really good for the seniors to somehow have that in well, place. We talked about uh, our little, I don't know if it's in here or not, uh, getting our little tab or whatever on the Southgate site in our last meeting. Like, I don't know, maybe it was a for seniors. Well, they, they did for they, the seniors that's thing. Right. We did, yeah, yeah. And I don't know if that happened or well, not. Well, they they but did put the poster up. The thing is, I can never find it, Holly. You know. Uh, sorry. So you mean like to advertise the fair? No, or anything. Oh, okay. Just our for the so yeah for the seniors. Yeah. Uh, David talked about that, I think. That yeah, they were going to add something on the Southgate site because remember when I was doing the brochure, mm -hmm. there was a a thing on the bottom to go in there so that you could yeah. get to there. And then go from there. I can certainly look into that. Okay. Yeah. That would be good, but I'm thinking if we know what's going on or what's coming up. Maybe I mean, you can always add our stuff on it too, right? <laughs> yeah, but there's also a way for us to talk some of the issues and give input. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Into whatever planning or this isn't the decisions are happening. I have them at home. Ah. I changed the term. I, I actually, I don't know. Like, when I made this picture, it was just, you know, in the middle of the night, you know, I'm awake. <laughs> and I said, oh, I'll just throw something together and see what, you know, build it from the there. Look, like, not swirl, really. It's and then she kind of took it and it was like, oh, I didn't mean it for that. But then it turned out to be that. And then I, yeah. the, the yeah. terms are a little confusing at the beginning. So I actually changed it on the brochure because it, it was. Yeah. You have to be consistent with the other items. Yeah. And well, you thought it through. And then so I, I so good. I changed it. So I. Yeah. I don't know if that's. But this will be good. This will be good for recruiting. This isn't the latest version. Though. I have a copy of the. You latest, do anyway. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know they came at the end, eh? They're part of now, uh, active lifestyle center in in Owen Sound, and the seniors ask were there, but I don't know how. They are active in, in a in a 
in a way, but they're really not getting a lot of calls and whatever, you mm -hmm. know. Yeah. But they're trying. Mm -hmm. 211 came. Yeah. And they and, were had a booth, and, and they're they, pretty solid. And it's the Southgate number we have there, right? Yes, it it's is. The yeah, website. this is an yeah. old one. Yeah. Yeah. So and there's some work to do. I mean, you know, we're I relatively a new committee, and it's a little difficult, but, yeah. I had two other numbers that I could have put on it, and then I thought I'd talk to you guys, and you said no. Okay. Well, so I think I I, 211 always had my vote <laughs> because they cover everything. Mm -hmm. But the Southgate one is fine, too, in, in terms of the... Mm -hmm. That's it. Because yeah. on an ongoing basis, they, want all the they calls. might be more. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, they're part of the calls, yeah. so why okay. not? I didn't put it on. Okay, yeah. so... Um, yes. Oh, do you want me to keep going? Yep. <laughs> yeah. Um, I know, like, at this point, we, we meet every other month. And this would be another terms of reference thing. But I'm wondering what, whether it's possible to meet monthly. It's really hard to get to know each other just meeting every other month. And then when it came to planning anything, like you really had to do the work in between. And um, yeah, that didn't involve the committee, the whole group then. Right. It, it, so right. I just find that really difficult. So that might be a recommendation for the new one. Meeting <clears throat> every month is a lot, just so you know. Like, I know. It, it's a big difference. So if you're on a couple of I know. I know. Like you're, you're really, really busy. Mm -hmm. Just putting that out there. Yeah. Oh yeah. But if yeah. you want to do something, like if you got a project or you want to plan anything. Yeah, and then two months later, it's like what? Yeah, we, it's like sometimes we have to repeat it because mm -hmm. you forget what we. Now, if it's if it's a small enough it. project, then you know one or two people could do it. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. But for the fair, we needed everybody, mm -hmm. so it created a problem. Okay. <clears throat> Good. Okay, so that's number three, budget. So, but how do we get this into I have something. consideration then? Yeah, okay. if we want to finish um, the last two, I'll see if I can add them into our terms of reference, and then I can read what I have, and um, we can you can discuss and we can change, um, and then it would just be a mover and a seconder and make it a formal resolution. But if we want to finish the discussion, I can kind of keep adding what uh, to what I have, and then um, we can go over it. Once the discussion's done. Thank you, Holly. Okay. <clears throat> I'm wondering if we should talk about the brochure that comes with the tax bill. When that was an issue because there was nothing. Oh, I was so disappointed bill. there that so, we oh. our fair didn't get mentioned. So and no that, feedback, no input, like no little, request, nothing. No, but on that from going forward. Yeah. Could we have like a little space on there that would, you know, either you advertise or something's happening or well, something it like was, that? Well, we needed to have the fair on there, you know. But the fair's over, so I'm talking yeah, it's about over going now, forward yeah. now. Mm -hmm. That, you know, could we have like a little space and just, you know, kind of let people know that we're here or if mm -hmm. something's coming up or even if we know of something that's coming up that's not directly related to us? So that it, it's getting the word out because I'm always wondering how the word gets out to some of these people. Sorry. Um, no, I think that's a good point. You know, but I don't know if we can do it there. I, I, I know from I don't remember what else we've talked. It, like it seems like there's you know there's so much information mm -hmm. and, and it's yeah. like where to stop and end that yeah. to with that newsletter. I, so I understand that, but then how do we get the information out to people? And do Southgate seniors even know there is a seniors advisory committee? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would say probably most of them don't. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and the other thing I wondered because I was talking to um, the housing people. I think it would be interesting for us to have a meeting with the housing group. Like, I'm just kind of curious yeah, about Yeah, because housing all the stuff applies to seniors, need. too, sure. Pardon? I mean, seniors are a big part of the yeah, housing mm -hmm. needs. Yeah, but I, mm -hmm. I don't know what they're doing and stuff like that. It, like, and it, it's a part of, we're a part of what they're doing and they're a part of what we're doing. So I'm just wondering if we could have a joint meeting at some point. I don't know how that would work. Did Jennifer talk at the Cowtown lunch lunch? Uh, a little bit. A little bit, okay. Yeah. Dave Milliner just presented on Tuesday to the Young at Heart group, and I was there as part of the housing mm -hmm. committee then. Uh, and Michael Mil Michael Shearson was supposed to be there, but he, he had to cancel that morning. 
anyways, but that went really well. Like people were very interested. Yeah. So I. Yeah. So maybe we do that every once in a while. Like the Cowtown lunch, you could probably do that almost every month that we're doing it. You don't have to make it long, but because it's not the same group all the time. Right. Okay. Hand out a brochure. Every well, time. pardon? Hand out the brochure. I don't think people want brochures. I think it's, to me, more effective to get somebody standing up at the front that's working on a committee that can tell you about it. Mm -hmm. To me, anyway, like, I, mm -hmm. I don't want a lot of paper. I, I'm going to yeah, say no. that even though there's the municipal election happening, that I think members of that committee would definitely agree to, some members at least would agree to go t to do a presentation, and then just, Dave has this side show all set up. Yeah. Like I'm not, I'm not running the show in the Cowtown much, so mm -hmm. that's Brenda. But I'm just thinking of, you know, having something ready, and just sort of so that we could meet and greet because, <laughs> like the grill is, uh, I guess, partly responsible for it. Lives three doors from us. I didn't know that she had anything to do. You with mean that. Jennifer? Yeah. Jennifer. Yeah. Oh yeah, she's yeah. a member of the that committee. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, as I am. And then she's <laughs> also changed the color of her hair. Oh. <laughs> so I didn't recognize yeah. it in any way, so yeah. it's like, but I, I think it would be an interesting sort of, like a nice mesh, yeah. so that we could understand what they're doing and they Absolutely. Could understand what we're thinking of, yeah. yeah, and sort of get some people together. Okay. Good point. Yeah. Okay. Next then, item then. <laughs> so okay, no, the well, budget. But we haven't... Figure, oh. Okay, go ahead. Frequency oh. of meetings. It's a suggestion. It's up to the new committee to decide, right? Or no, no it's it's, it has to be in the terms of reps. Oh, we need to make a recommendation if that's yeah. what right. we all agree. Oh, on. yes. Um, okay. I would suggest that if you're looking to make a recommendation on a budget increase, we can also include that in our resolution. So we can have that discussion, and then I can kind of read what I've come up with, and we'll discuss and change if we need to. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so, what we move on? No, no, what do we want to say about the budget? Oh, I th I thought we were still at frequency of meetings or is oh. that looked after? Well, no, but I think what um, Holly's suggesting is we could make one motion, perhaps. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. to streamline it. Yeah. If we want yeah. to talk about all of the recommendations, we can put them all into one. Right, yeah. right, right. Okay. So, with regard to the budget, um, I, I think when the committee f first formed, I mean, they didn't know what they'd be doing, right? So, they, they just set a, a minimal budget. And... Uh, and then it, we realized that we had no leeway to do anything. And um, when we were going to have the uh, the uh, theater group come, there was a cost with that, and then there was a cost for the food, mm -hmm. and the committee had no money at all. And uh, so Southeast Gray said they'd pick up the, the bill for that mm -hmm. one. So it would be nice to have couple of thousand dollars at least to work with. I know Gray Highlands, didn't they say they had $10,000 in their budget wow. for the seniors? Senior? Really? At least five or six. Oh, I have no and, idea. and we mm -hmm. had $500. Mm -hmm. So Which, it's not yeah. a lot to do anything with. So We ended up going to mileage one year. Like that's all it was. And part of it was me because I was going to the council oh, yeah, on aging meetings enough. in Owen yeah. Sound. Yeah. And uh, charging mileage because... Yeah, I thought that's what I was supposed to yeah, do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry about it. Yeah, that's <laughs> no, fair. And I'm and sorry. you know, and for me, it's a bit of a trip. So I was charging mileage too. And I know some people in Dundalk weren't, but I charged a bit. Uh, so if it were always here, I wouldn't have to charge. They had trouble mileage. with my bank account. Oh, this I never is got further. Straightened out, so I don't think I've received anything from mileage. It doesn't matter. No, well, you don't have any have forms this year. for us, eh? Yeah. Until now, maybe. For, yeah. for the fair. Holly, you don't have any of those forms, eh, for mileage? I don't, but I can get some printed. Um, I don't have a printer here, unfortunately. No. Yeah. This is the only meeting, so I'll just tell you what I No, but what, what about the fair probably. meetings? Oh, I didn't I, I didn't traveled know. a lot. I didn't do those. <laughs> um, so I would just maybe recommend, if we're looking to increase um, the budget, if we could give council an, a figure, a general yeah, yeah. figure. Um, 
would likely help in planning. Um, so if you maybe would want to discuss that. How much do you want? Do we know how much we spent so far? Like oh, on the fair? Yeah. Well, this, this is kind of unique, right? You know, and, no, and it's sort of the whole time we've been together, which wasn't always doing the fair. Do we have any? Right. That, well, like, the broken down at all? The, yeah, no, I, mean, I don't get broken down. Well, well we, we do. Cost us? Oh, well, I don't know yet, uh, but right. probably 6000 Okay, so the fair is not going to be every year. No, no, no. That's so right. we don't want that much every year. Yeah. So what, with two grand, three grand? Just to do stuff. Well, already, you see, I had this given to me. Uh, so 22 budget. Uh, stipend 800. Because we do get something for coming to a meeting, right? Mm -hmm. We do? Yeah. Yeah, okay. that's... Oh, but that not not for is that in our budget or virtual. is that in theirs? So it is a yes. Okay. So it's assigned to the seniors committee through okay. the council okay. budget, right? Mm -hmm. So what do you want to ask for? Like I I'm I won't be coming back. I I can't do this anymore. <laughs> so I so think six grand is probably people. a little much if if. Yeah. You know, we spent most of it on the on the fair. Yeah. So maybe half of that we could still do, like, the the have, plays have, have and a theater group or some, some other group people oh, and, yeah. and and all, and workshops Workshop, and then offer something. the yeah. presenters a little something for their mm -hmm. mileage. You know, mm -hmm. I mean that's only fair. You know. Oh, yeah, that's some right. of them yeah, don't have salaries. Salary. That's why the Sheeter group charge because they're not on a salary. No. Mm -hmm. It's kind of quasi volunteer. They use you know the funding they get, but does it extend to their stuff? No. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's part of the challenge mm -hmm. for them. We we were lucky they came. <clears throat> really. I was disappointed that not many like to me not many people were upstairs watching it. Well it was better. There were close to thirty. It was better than we had had all day. So we it was told pretty everybody good. Everybody too at the door there was a theater at the end of the day. Yeah. Oh well, right. you did. You did the best you yeah. could, yeah. Mary. Yeah, it know. looks like. Yeah. I mean, you know, you can't persuade them, but it was compelling. The arena floor was compelling, right? Mm -hmm. You know, and and the chairs and the were, food and you know, it was compelling. Yeah, it's, it's, it's yeah, a lot of it. Could have been tired after going around the arena. Yeah. It, you no. Know, what can you do? We we tried our best. So yeah. So I don't know. What do you want to do for for a budget? Do you want to ask for three thousand? Sure. <laughs> well, then we don't have to ask Southeast Gray Community Health Center to sponsor one of our events. We can mm -hmm. go ahead and do I think them. three is, is, is a good number, high number, considering we're not going to do a big fair. If we're going to plan for a fair, then we have to ask for, or maybe even well, ask for that. Well, that's why we ask for the funding yeah. to help. Mm -hmm. We'll probably break even. Mm -hmm. It won't cost, the well, it costs the township for the facility and the hydro, and, you know, there's mm -hmm. a cost to that. Yeah. But, it, but I think it would be fair, you know, like if we're asking for that much money, then we also need to, you know, if we're making a, a request to use a chunk of it, that, that we put together that plan, you know, and mm -hmm. say, this is what we want the money for. Um, you know whether it's a special event, a workshop, or because right now or it's stated at five hundred dollars. Yeah. yeah, and that maybe. covers the meeting attendance then, and that's mileage yeah. or so maybe it doesn't. But, but this year, you know, we didn't have mileage very much until the no, planning no, no, meetings. No, no, mm -hmm. yeah, that's it. Well, it's better to have it in the budget and not use it, right? Yeah, and we may not get Never it anyway. Not so. use it. <laughs> Never not. Oh, I'm sorry, I said the wrong thing. <laughs> what time is it? Quarter to three. Not bad. Okay. And two, I I would just suggest that if maybe you do have a fair coming up, you could make a recommendation to council the year before to increase the budget for just that yeah. year. If yeah. that was something yeah. that that the committee had decided upon. Yeah. Um, so I kind of have. Something here, I I can read it, we can discuss it, we'll just need a mover and seconder once we kind of have it fine-tuned. Um, so be it resolved that the committee recommend that council consider amending the terms of reference for the Senior Advisory Committee to include that membership to consist of up to seven community members and two members of council, frequency of meetings to be monthly with a maximum of 10 meetings per year, um, to include a council update section on the agenda composition to inform committee members of the information and events going on in the township. 
and that the committee recommend that council consider increasing the budget to three thousand dollars per year so that events may be planned in addition to the meeting attendance and member mileage oh very um, nicely in said. the budget yeah mm -hmm. that's that's really nice i mean that's yeah, that's comprehensive. Yeah, okay. yeah, thank You've you. You've done this before. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So we just need a mover and seconder for that. We could. Okay. Yes. Catherine yeah, and uh, Mary. <clears throat> okay. Sounds good. So I did have one item I wanted to ask Holly with regard to the fair. I'd forgotten. Um, Muriel and I want to send out a, a thank you letter mm -hmm. to about 20 people or maybe more. Um, and uh, we, we'd like the township to cover the postage for that. I don't believe that will be a problem. I will double check with Dave. Oh, okay. they have like a business rate? Of yeah, they do. Like yeah. 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 They do. Yeah. I don't okay. foresee it being an issue. No. Let me double check with Dave and I'll yeah. send everybody. So in. can you send me a letterhead then mm -hmm. electronically and then we'll use that and then I'll use your envelopes? Sure. And then uh, that would be nice because we feel we want to do that. And I want to send a specific thank you to Tanya Shoot, you know, because she allowed her staff really mm -hmm. to participate. Mm -hmm. And plus a special thank you to Kathy and Jeff, you mm -hmm. know, who yeah. came to practically every meeting and participated. Yes, and, you know, we can drop the list. It can go on and on, you know. But we mm -hmm. want to send it to their homes. We could send it by email. But I don't think it has the same. She doesn't, doesn't, doesn't like it either. No, no. So we'll do that. Yeah, okay. well, that's good. This one warrants a stamp. <laughs> okay. And members' privilege is next. Then. Members' privilege. Okay. So go ahead, Arlene. You're at the right hand. I don't know. I, I, I don't think I have anything for members' privilege. But I can okay. Well, you battle through illness and come up ahead, and you're still here with us. And thank you so much. No, this, that's good news. No. My illness was not near what some other people have gone through. So, well, <laughs> no. okay, Mary. Up to you. No, I don't have anything either. No, no. You had your say. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I have no good news. COVID is ending, so we're starting to get out more. So this is, you know, it's going to bring eh? in more good news. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So I don't, that's it. Okay. Jan? No? Yeah, we all participate as best we can, eh? And Muriel? Um, Has it been worth your time sitting on this committee for the last four years? That's hard to know it. Well, you know, one of the things I can say is that, especially through COVID, and maybe it will continue, I expect it will, there's been a ton of webinars. I'll, everything under the sun mm -hmm. for seniors and other stuff too and i've really taken advantage of that because they've mostly been Have free you. wow yeah and yeah, that's uh, true yeah and i've learned a lot but some topics i think i'm od'd 